welcome back to the Hair I Wear for Wigs by Paddy'sPearls.com. I'm Lauren, and I have more Belle Trust pieces to show y'all. I have some fun bobs, I have a long wavy piece, so many great wigs in this cafe collection, and I want to show them all to you. So we are well on our way to doing that, but I have four more. Yeah, four more I'm gonna be posting. It's a lot, y'all, but it's so, so fun. Okay, I have spent the morning preparing for a hurricane. Hurricane is coming, y'all, to North Carolina. Like, it's just crazy. I'm obsessed with the weather, checking updates, checking the radar. I have all the canned foods. We can eat sloppy joes and peas for the next, like, week, I think, with all this canned food I've gotten. So, I think I'm prepared. So, now it's time to review some wigs. Okay, so the wig I am showing you today, well, first let me say, I feel like the first round of wig reviews that I did, I confused a lot of people because I was wearing a wig in the first half, then I changed into the, like, which wig is what? I don't know. So, for the next four pieces I'm reviewing, I'm going to wear the same piece. This is Sumatra um, by Beltress, and the color is Mocha with Cream. Now, I've already done a review on that. Check out the post, um, but I'm just going to keep her on until I put on the wig we're actually talking about, so not to confuse anybody. But this is the wig that we're talking about today. This is Rose Ella. Rose Ella sounds like a very southern name. Um, she's beautiful, loose, wave, uh, long, synthetic, but heat-friendly wig, and this color is Cola with Cherry. Now, I think I did, which one was it? Sh not Sugar Rush. Ah, I can't think of the name, but I reviewed another wig in this color, and I think this is so beautiful. Like, it just has an overall, like, reddish, dark auburn look to it. It's really dimensional. It's rooted with a dark brown. And it has just these beautiful dark auburn highlights um, with medium browns running through it. It's just a really rich dimensional color, and I love this. Cola with cherry. Okay, let's talk about all the details of Rose Ella. Uh, she has a left side mono part and then open wefting through the rest of the cap. So this is going to be really stretchy. She has an adjustable nape with this really comfortable velvet band down here and adjustable ear tabs to give you a snug fit. Now in her part line, um, like I said, she does have this mono top and a lace front. It's kind of hard to tell as I'm holding her, but you'll see once I put her on. Um, but I love the mono tops on these bell truss pieces. I think they did a really great job. Okay, um, 19 inches overall, so she is a long piece and let me just show her to you. I will be right back. Be screenshot ready because here are all the details on Rose Ella by Beltrus. Okay, here she is. Now, first impression, she feels really poofy. <laughs> this layer over here, I do have her parted on the left. That's where her um, monofilament top is, is over there on the left. Um, and so a lot of the hair is going, of course, over here to the right. And I don't know if it's the curl pattern or the density or what exactly is making it so full, um, but it does feel like a very full piece. But, I mean, it still has enough curl pattern in it that it doesn't look frizzy poofy. It's just a lot of volume over here on the right hand side. Now the left hand side is laying well. You can see uh, that loose curl pattern, which I love. I love a, a loose, just kind of a tassel wave look, and that's definitely what this is. Now, if I were to customize her, I would definitely wet her um, right up here in the front and go in and kind of loosen up those knots. Um, she is hand tied, so it's gonna have great movement. And then I would just take um, a blow dryer and probably just aim it right at those knots and train it to go back and over a little bit. It's feeling really heavy here in the front, but I think it's just the way it is out of the box. Now, of course, out of the box, you're gonna plop it on your head, and this happens so many times. Now, keep in mind on social media, like when you see pictures um, of ladies in their wigs, they have gone in and they've customized it. Um, they never just plop it on their head right out of the box and take a picture. You're gonna have a zigzag part, um, a lot of the hair might be falling forward. Like you can do a lot to make it look like your hair and to customize it for you. So don't get discouraged when you take something out of the box and put it on your head and it doesn't look like it did on social media. You just need to play around with it. Um, now I say that, don't go plucking hairs or use concealer because if it actually is not the right piece for you, you can't return it once you've done those customizations. But definitely play around with 
um, straightening out the part and kind of training the knots to go in the direction you need them to so they're up out of your face. Okay, let's get back to Rose Ella. The fibers feel really good. Um, I love Belle Tress's heat friendly fibers. They're really silky. They don't feel super wiggy. Um, it's kind of hard to find a piece that feels really silky without that like blinding, bright, wiggy, kind of reflective texture to it. So I think they've done a really good job with these fibers. Um, again, look at that color. Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. Again, this is Cola with Cherry. Now the side here is 12 inches, so that is your shortest layer. You can definitely get it behind your ear if you need to. Um, you could always you know, clip it back on the side, so you can definitely get a good ear tuck with this piece and get it off of your face. Um, definitely good for a low ponytail. With the overall length being 19 inches, you have plenty to play with to get it back in a ponytail. Um, the cap is fitting great. It's an average cap size. Um, I'm an average, I'm an average cap size. This is an average cap size. It's fitting true to size. The ear tabs are where they're supposed to be. Unlike a few other pieces I reviewed by Beltress, I feel like it's hitting, um, like, um, at the top of my ears where it's supposed to. Nothing's bunching or sitting on my ears or gapping or anything like that. So it feels really good for an average cap size. Okay, let me give you a 360 spin. This one curl, we'll just let it hang out right there. <laughs> okay, here is the overall view for Rose Ella. Alrighty, there she is. She is just a fun, tousled, loose wave. Just a really, really fun piece. Now let's talk about the care for her. Um, definitely do not go through this piece with a straightener or anything like that and try to do anything um, to these curls. They're meant to be wavy and loose and free. Um, if you want to do a little bit of shaping or defrizzing, I would just wet her and then just with your hands reshape the curl. Um, you could take some contour cream for synthetic pieces and go in there and define some of the curls. Um, it's looking a little like against this white background, a little bit of like flyaway pieces, but you could definitely just take some argon oil or some kind of um, like spray for synthetic hair and just kind of calm it down a little bit. It's nothing too horrible it's not super frizzy or anything like that it's just a poofy piece um, so you're gonna get a lot of volume in this piece it's just meant to be worn big and tousled and just loose and free it has a lot of great movement to it okay there she is if you need Rose Ella in your life head on over to wigs by pattyspearls.com the brand is Belle Trust. the style is Rose Ella I am wearing cola with cherry all right, I will be back shortly with another wig for the hair I wear. Did I say all that? Oh well, I'm just gonna send it out one more time. I'm Lauren, I'll see you next time, bye.